Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to share with you guys how to get this beautiful eye look and also hair. So make sure you guys keep on watching. So as you guys can see, I look like a mess. I literally look like a mess. Um, this is what my hair looks like when I wash it at night and then go to sleep and wake up. This is what it looks like. Super crazy. So I always make sure to add some type of oil or serum however you want to say it this one is from sally beauty supplies i'll have everything that i use in this video in the description box below as always so i make sure to do that first okay so once i am done with that i'm gonna make sure to section off my hair i have no idea how some people cannot section their hair i have to i cannot relate to that so that's what i'm gonna be doing and then i already have my straightener ready to go this one is from baby list pro i think i got it from ulta like two years ago and it still works amazing so this one is one of my favorite straighteners ever it's the one i always use pretty much the only one i own too so that's what i'm gonna be doing i make sure to straighten at the top like three times or two depends how curly my hair is that day and then I just flip it around and I get a curl that way so that's honestly all I do throughout my whole entire head it gets super repetitive but once you get the hang of it it becomes super easy so I'm gonna show you guys on the other side how I do it again I straighten in the top of my hair because that's the most curly then I flip the straightener with my hair and then I run it through slowly if you want a tighter curl looser if I mean faster so slowly if you want a tighter curl and faster if you want a more loose curl no puedo hablar oh my god so yeah that's what i'm gonna do hopefully it makes sense there's tons of videos out there that are better than mine to be honest with you guys but yeah that's pretty much all i do with my whole entire head and then if i want tighter curls or a different type of curls i usually straighten my hair first and then wait a couple of days and then curl it with a curling one the struggle is real when you have wavy hair or curly hair you cannot just go in and just style it you have to go through a process to get it the way you like it and also i wanted to let you guys know i don't know if you noticed i completely forgot to turn the lights off behind me. i mean the lights off i completely forgot to turn the lights on behind me so if the video is looking a little bit darker you guys already know why i wasn't thinking so i just left them off but i kind of like them off and on i feel like it doesn't really make a difference but if you guys are wondering i just forgot to turn them on okay guys so we finally made it to the top of my head this is the part that i take the most time because it's the part that everybody's gonna see and if you don't take your time trust me you're gonna miss a part and you're gonna be walking around with your hair curly and have curled um, with the straightener it has happened to me so you want to make sure you take your time and curl your hair so for some reason that piece of hair did not want to curl i had to curl it for like three times sometimes my hair does that and it's really annoying but once i am done with that i'm gonna make sure to add some extensions we love extensions in this house i mostly do it only to add a little bit of length not that much my hair is pretty long and thickness i love adding thickness to my hair and just make it look 10 times better so this extensions are from irresistible me they're the true blend extensions and i honestly agree with the name they're super like comfortable to wear because they are made of a silicone band i believe i don't know everything about them i'll have more information in the description box below but i only added three of them and i just love how my hair feels and looks i even have wore them to school and they feel super comfortable and they don't give you a headache so i like how they're not bulky in the back and they feel comfortable super thin but they still add that extra thickness to it so if you have fine hair and you're looking for great extensions you should get this and even if you have thick hair like me you're still gonna like this extensions so once we're done with that we applied everything and we are ready for the makeup so if you guys want to know more about this extensions, check the description box below and i also have a coupon code with them so check it out okay so for the makeup i'm gonna use the tape method i know this is not the tape you're supposed to use i think this is like some random tape i found but that's all i had so i'm gonna use that and of course we're priming our eyes with some concealer for today's eyeshadow palette i'm using this one from huda beauty it's the emerald obsessions palette i dropped mine which looks like that i hate when that happens to my makeup it completely like breaks my heart i don't know if any of you guys can relate but i'm taking that first shade that i showed you guys on the screen and i'm using my finger first and then i'm using a smaller detail brush with the lighter green shadow to blend everything out i feel like if you just go in with the shadows just by itself either it turns to blue or it turns to gray so that's the reason i did it that way Okay. 
okay and then i'm gonna be going in with that beautiful minty green shadow and these are so pigmented my hands are completely dry i'm not using anything to wet them and they are super pigmented so i really like them um so i went ahead and added that first and then i noticed it was too minty so i went with that beautiful shimmer shadow and it added that perfect green touch and then i make sure to blend everything in so i went back and forth to make sure i had no harsh lines it's finally time to add some mascara and lashes so for mascara i'm using this one by essence it's the 16 hour wear mascara like it's like cuesta como cinco dólares so it's not that bad and i really like it and then for lashes today i'm going to be using this one's from batty v lashes they're in the style extra i love them so much this was my first time using them and they just add that perfect like fluffs to it so i really like those and then for primer today i'm using the fenty beauty primer love this primer because it mattifies my skin but it still hydrates it at the same time y después for foundation today we're going to be using two of my favorites i love a lot of foundations you guys foundation is like my thing um once too neutral once too yellow mixing them both together it creates that perfect undertone for me all the colors i use it's going to be listed in the description box below in case you guys are wondering but look at the coverage i absolutely love just watching like my foundation application i love it and then for concealer today i'm using the maybelline h31 concealer in the shade medium i haven't used this one in a long time and i forgot how good it was and then for some weird reason i decided to cream contour i think the lashes made me feel really extra and so right now you're watching me trying to blend this cream contour out you guys i'm not that good at it but you know what just watch me watch the struggle guys just watch it Okay, so I'm finally done three hours later. So finally three hours later, I'm just kidding, not three hours later, but I'm finally done blending that contour. And then we're setting everything with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which I love. At this point, I feel like I don't even have to say it because you all already know. And then I am also going to set the rest of my face with the famous J Cap Beauty Powder. If you guys haven't seen my last video, make sure you guys do so you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you all seen that video, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, so far, I'm kind of liking it. Let me keep trying it and then I'll let you know. Okay, and then for bronzer today, I'm using one of my favorites. This is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Bronze Babe. We love this bronzer. It just adds that perfect warm tone. And for my skin tone, I just love how it looks. And then I'm also contouring my nose just a little bit to complete my look. And I'm sorry, you guys, if throughout this whole video you guys see me looking or staring to the side of me. I try to edit most of it out, but I was watching Criminal Minds. I had my computer there. I am so obsessed with that show. I love anything to do with like thriller, investigating stuff. I love it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have any recommendations for me because I need new shows to watch. But anyways, I'm going to go in and finish up my eyes. I'm going with the second light shade we use on our lid. Not the first one, the second one. And I'm applying that in the inner corner. And then what I did to the top, I'm doing to the bottom when it comes to the darker shades. And just to add a little bit of extra drama, I went in with this NYX eye pencil. I hate putting things in my waterline i think that's what it's called waterline i used to be able to do it but now you guys like i can't like i hate it i hate it i hate it i just hate it looking at myself do it it makes me cringe i don't like it at all but i just feel like it just finishes up my eye and then once we're done with that i'm gonna add my morphe setting spray since we're looking a little bit powdery and while i let that dry out i'm gonna do my lips so like always you guys already know I'm gonna be using the NYX Brown Lip Liner and we overdraw our lips. I always do it, I just never show it, I don't know why, but I always overdraw my lips just a little bit. And my favorite new lip combo is this one. So this is the L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick in Sweet Tooth. I love the scent so much, it's so delicious. So we wanna make sure that's blended and then for some reason I go back to my face. I'm weird, you guys. Um, so this is the BH Cosmetics Highlight. Look how beautiful that is, I'm telling you. 
it just looks so pretty and that palette is like $22 super affordable so I went ahead and highlight my face and I almost forgot again to do blush one of you guys in my last video reminded me of blush and I completely forgot so on this one I almost forgot but I remember so I'm using the covergirl blush in peach I believe I'm not sure about the name but it's such a pretty color and I just love how it looks like on so once we are done with that I go in and apply lip gloss I told you guys I'm like all over the place which I don't know why but this is the MAC Moth 2 I don't remember the name to be honest some MAC lip gloss I'll have it in the description box below it's super sticky but it's super pretty so once we're done with that I'm gonna go ahead and fluff the hair one more time okay guys so this is the finished look I created we said buy warm tones adios warm tones and hello cool tones and greens really like how this look turned out make sure you guys let me know how you feel about the voiceover hope you guys have an amazing weekend and i shall see you guys on my next video bye guys